In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to travel for next to nothing. No, I'm not. I'm going to show you how to use the green screen. Hey, peeps, we are the Mental Health Movie Makers. I am Mubit. And yes, as I described, I'm going to show you how to use a green screen and even get a sort of ghetto cheap setup in your house because I'm not in the studio today. I'm actually at home. So uh, I guess let's let's show you that, shall we? Okay, and as you can see, I am literally, you know, I'm in my house. I've got the Sony, um, obviously you don't have to use a big Sony camera or anything like that. You can use your phone like I'm using right here, you know? Um, it's making the job easy for you. We've got a cinema camera, but it's just, it's not worth it for something like this. But uh, yeah, we've uh, just got a green screen there, as you can see in the background. Um, it doesn't, you don't actually have to fill the, um, you know, fill the, the monitor, the actual monitor there with the green. If you zoom right out, as long as you are standing in the green like that and you don't reach out, you know, you don't reach out of the green, um, you can in post, um, you know, you can crop in and just use the green bit. This here, which is an old softbox, got a giant energy saving bulb in there that, that's set for, you know, cameras. Because if you use domestic lights, they can, if you don't have the shutter speed right, it can kind of, you get that weird lines or flicker. That's because you haven't got the shutter speed right to match uh, domestic lights that flicker so fast that you can't see with the human eye, but a camera can see that. So if you can afford one of those, get one of those. I've got, this is, is my key lights just facing and it's literally just a knockoff USB uh, light. So I've got it on, uh, you know, daylight color temperature because it matches the big softbox up there. But then you also have to light your green screen. There's another one of those lights I've just showed you, these office light things, uh, set to daylight and it's pointing at the green screen. And what you want to do is pull it, is pull it far enough away that it lights it, rel you know, evenly all the way across, or at least all the way across where you're standing. And um, also, if I was not to light this green screen separately, it would cast a shadow. So we'll we'll demonstrate that. Boop. If I, so when you come to key, that will be all fuzzy, like your your shadow. I hope you can see that. So you want to stand far enough away. And see the shadow's gone now so i'm about a meter away um you just want to separately light the green screen if you can got to pull up the green screen i've gone fancy but until then i was just using a green piece of cloth and you can buy the cloths in um you know like you get any old material you just get um a non-reflective cloth so like a you know, like a jumper type material or a hoodie type material you know and i just had it uh pinned to the ceiling but of course the other option I'm not going to show it today because it's chucking it down with rain and it's absolutely freezing outside uh, because there's a storm just passing over. The other option, of course, is if you don't have any of these lights and you don't have the means to get them, and let's face it, the, the, the economy is tricky at the moment, so there are other priorities, is you can simply just go outside if you've got a bit of space in your garden or something. Um, you probably want the sun either above or sort of behind you a little bit. Um, if it's on that way, again, you're going to have the problem with casting the shadows. So again, if the sun's here in your face, I mean, it's going to be lighting you nicely, but you're going to get a shadow on there. So you need to step closer to the camera, further away from the green screen. Um, and what you want to be looking for on those days is a cloudy day. It's uh, the photographer and cinematographer's best friend is a cloudy day. Everyone, you know, when you get married or whatever and everyone goes, oh, I hope it's sunny and hot and bright. The photographer's like, no, we want it to be cloudy and overcast because then it makes everybody look pretty. Trust me, it works. But since my dog is, is falling asleep now and he's starting to snore, I'm going to hand you over to Sam, our chief editor, and uh, he's going to show you, once you've got the footage, what to do with it. So uh, take it away, Sam. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, basically, I'm just going to show you how to actually do the green screen. Um, so if I go on to here and just show you what I'm working with, considering as a professional, the one cardinal sin of being a cinematographer and working with a green screen is you don't wear green. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. So the effect we're going to be using is the ultra key. So if you just whack this on, and then click on the uh, dropper next to key color, click on it, and look at his t-shirt. 
it's completely changed. So what I had to do is I had to go into a different software and um, basically try and rekey it so it cut that part out. It's a bit of a nose, so ideally if you can, just make sure the subject is not wearing green or anything green on the day. So what I'm going to show you is one of the other projects that I worked on um, where he's not wearing green. Okay, so, and we're back. This is the original footage. This is 4K footage that uh, was recorded. So, uh, what we're going to do is, just to make sure that there's no edging, um, is we are going to scale it in. I believe I scaled it into 120. And then it's still got the top of his head. It's got some of the movement when he has movement. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do is we get it to look like uh, this. So that is how it ended up looking um, as the final outcome. So yeah, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the ultra key on it. Um, I'm going to use color dropper again. And see, it's already kind of working. Yeah, and then when you've done that, just uh, have a play around with some of these different settings. Uh, so I usually try and bring up the choke because that kind of helps uh, to get rid of like any um, bits that aren't quite done and it kind of refines it a bit better. But you can also use the alpha channel uh, and then work on that for spill suppression. Um, because you're trying to get as much of the background as black and as much of as white as possible. Then that's how it should be looking. Um, as you can see, there's no green edges. There's no... Um, yeah, uh, it's exactly how it's meant to be. Um, and then just add an image or video clip to the background. And yeah, you sort it pretty much. Oh, uh, and another thing that you have to do is you also have to make sure that you uh, color correct it. So uh, that's what it was looking like beforehand, where there is no color. But then that makes it look as if it's a bit more... Uh, realistic again this was shot in 4k s log i believe so it is a lot more easier to work around with the colors okay uh, so that is everything um just remember don't wear green or make sure the people that are in front of the camera don't wear green thank you but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial uh, i know it's quite simple it's the first time i've done a tutorial so i do hope you enjoy it and feel free to leave comments feedback anything you want to say um if you thought it was crap then tell me and tell me how I can improve it. But yeah, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and thank you and goodbye. Hooray, it's the end of that video. So it's time to tempt you with more videos. Please help me, I'm mental and poor and I need the AdSense. I like to move it, move it, move it.